Okay, the giant went there, and uh, whoever this is actually moved on. Hey, seagull. He was in perfect uh, shape, I suppose, because he was walking, or they were walking pretty fast, faster, regularly, I suppose. No blood, no limping. Oh, the giant is back here though, I think. I don't really understand. Yeah, the, the giant, I think, went up there, but we need to follow this guy. I thought I saw something up here too. This is the giant? Well, of course, he's a giant. He's a... Uh, I mean, a mountain is just... what? A staircase to him. Giant came down the mountain, barged into the village. Then kick the gate down from the inside. Ah, yes, that's why the... That's why the... his fruit prints are all over. Can you come here? Or what? What are we doing? But there's a guy there! Come on! Come here, come on, Siren, come here. Maybe I should use the horn, but... I mean... We do so well with Irden. No problem. Fallen! I was sure you died! Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Spigarog, alone. <laughs> Couldn't wait, no. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres, she staked a claim to the throne then. And you'd have rather gone with her. I'd have liked to have the choice. Right. <laughs> Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. <laughs> know me? Yes, right? Unless this guy is younger than Ceres, you have known him since he was a child, because this is Hjalmar, right? Right? You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. My father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a skellige lad's potions. Sure. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. <laughs> Are you alright? Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. <laughs> Join us, Geralt. Where are we going? Oh, we are going to the giant? Just like that? I don't know, I thought there was some kind of... Uh, I don't know why... Way to kind of parlay with him, with the giant, or uh, communicate with him, because... I don't know, the fact that he was just building a boat, kind of... made me think that another way besides killing him was possible then again he might just have to be killed because he literally destroyed a whole island and all the people that he inhabited it Pick up the pace. see you're rare to go Yeah, the nails. See, it's almost as if... The game is suggesting me that I could do something with what... Uh Skeleton's been picked clean, but there's something next to it. Oh, is this a treasure hunt? Okay. I might have missed that one. What? Are you kidding me? Seriously. Bled to death. It was to be his last voyage. His last voyage? He wanted to retire afterwards? Well, maybe. I mean, the fact that I found those nails, kinda, as a quest item, kind of suggests me that something can be done, but I didn't find any twine with the... the quest uh, item marker. I mean, the exclamation point. I suppose there might be a way. Maybe. To just... Um, oh! Again. Help out the giant. And let him go. I'm 
telling you. Plowing enormous horse on he is. Wonderful. Why not twine though? I'm trying to... Maybe I've missed the twine. Again, the nails? I don't think I will find the twine. Oh god! Why did I even bother? I don't have a quest update about the nails though. So it's a bit weird. Caved in? Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! <sighs> really? I thought we were going to find another way, I'll but... I'll cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. I don't know, I thought there was another possibility for this quest, but maybe I'm just mistaken, that's it. Getting colder, gotta be close. Yeah, look at this. now. One odd step and you can wake him. Should we... Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Oh! He should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Oh god, I don't remember who this guy is. Alright, guess you should stay in the cage then. What? I will not forget this, I'm great. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now! Avoid snow. What? Who's that? That's you? How did you get there?
I didn't understand one thing you said. Wait, but... We have to free him. I don't understand sometimes how this quest log is. Like, seriously. So what do we do now? So we are freeing him? Thanks, brother. I remember that. Let's get out of here. Right. Just as soon as I kill him. <laughs> Yalmar's friends are hot, but idiots. Can, can't you get distracted by them? That's why they're here, to distract you, right? There we go. What? Wait, I was far away. Maybe it's just... Okay, let's get the weapon. I was thinking that maybe... Thank god there are no quick time events, right? I hate those. Otherwise here there would have been one, I'm pretty sure of it. Like, avoid the planks. Where? Oh, he's there. That's not uh, too much range, so we're good. Geralt! I'm not allowed to cast? Yeah, we are definitely over leveled, people. <laughs> there we go. We are over leveled. And uh, my Igni also is uh, a killer. And this is an ice giant, so... Uh. <laughs> that guy's still shooting. I knew him. <sighs> Veggie, you daft bastard. Why? We had to kill him anyway. I mean... <laughs> okay. Where are the others? <laughs> Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Nah, I, you know what? I think I'll take that. We all should take that. All of us present here. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. <laughs> so be it. Right. Let's get out of here. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Okay. <sighs> 25 experience points. Ah! I think I already had that item, though. King's Gambit? Oh, yeah. What do you have? Do you have loot? Alright then. Yeah, I was thinking that even 
if we had another way to get rid of him, like letting him sail, if there is even that option and if Octo is not crazy. Um, I don't think this giant would uh, deserve it anyway. I mean, deserve is not the right word. This guy literally destroyed the populace of a whole island, so it's better if he's gone. You know what I mean? He might be sailing one day and uh, we'll still uh, wait for Ragnarok. Uh, maybe he raids uh, another island. Like, he would just have the means to move around <laughs> and cause more damage. Um, I'm not sure uh, whether Octo actually was there to build a boat or what. Because I've never heard anything from the giant. So I don't know. I guess we're going to backtrack and I'm doing that on my own, you don't need to see that. I'm going to see if I missed something and that will be it. Well, well, um, so I just, uh, um, first travel here, we are in a little island that uh, we didn't have any occasion to visit before, and um, I was in Undvik, right, and uh, I searched for Jalmar and the other guys at the um, harbor, but they weren't there. I thought we were going to leave together, but they're probably in Kertrol, uh, alright? So... How nice this little place is. Yeah, this is Ulala? <laughs> Uriala <laughs> Ulala <laughs> Okay, well nice little village nice disposition of the houses everybody can see everybody else perfect I dare say or not <laughs> mm. We are going to explore this place and we are going to investigate this tower because it seems amazing to me. I mean, um, interesting. It immediately r kind of reminded me of Howl's Moving Castle. For some reason, a moving tower, a disappearing Which tower? Hi. Yes, Richard. let's talk. What is it? I got a job for you. There's no point standing here in the rain. All right, let's go to mine. We'll talk there. So what's the matter? You see that knoll beyond the village? Weren't a thing there for centuries. Till one day we awoke, bam! There were a tower atop it. Mm. Then all of a sudden lightning started pounding down. As if the Nargal Fair itself was sailing in. Hasn't stopped to this day. Might be a mage. <laughs> a Something's wizard. Something's gotta be done. About the storm. With waves like that, we can't fish nor sail out the Oh. Raid. So... Uh, somebody that is experimenting with the weather. <laughs> New Geralt here, the new version, actually kind of reminds me of very vaguely because he doesn't look like him. But, you know, the general air and the way he's dressed, like, nicely and poshy, <laughs> kind of reminds me of Jamie Lannister. <laughs> kind of. 
You tried getting inside the tower? Have we tried? Very same morning the tower appeared. We went right off. Whole village or near boats. Mm -hmm. Folk wanted to welcome its owner if he came in peace. Drive him off if he came with ill intent. We knocked and banged, but no one answered. So we opened the door. And that's when our knees turned to jelly. Why? Because beyond of that door was something like a sheet of water, but standing upright. Mm -hmm. Never seen such a thing in my life. Druid said it were magic. Gathered five brave lads, and they all marched in. No sign of them since. Mm. Yeah, it sounds like magic. Fine. I'll look into the tower. Once you're in, cast your eye around for the folk from mm -hmm. our village. Our druid and five good lads. Oh. Oh, I'd be a bitter shame to lose them. You have my word. Hemdel, guide you. The druid as well. Oh no. It's way out of my range. Oh, this is so sad. So freaking sad. <laughs> oh, by the way, I did find a creature that was out of my level range. And uh, I managed because my signs are... Uh, quite good and it was an elemental golem, an ice golem and I, I think I kept staggering him with the Irden and then Igni Igni and hit him once or twice I managed that um, he was what a level ter 30 I suppose so and we are 23 or 24 I don't remember and then, while I was uh, revisiting every single place in Undvik, I found a forge with uh, uh, an item for forging Grandmaster items, I suppose. And I think I have to bring that stuff back to the Baron's um, place, because that's where this myth uh, that asked me for this item should be welcome back everybody let's have a little excerpt yeah oh, whatever that was i'm back in novigrad and uh, i decided to do the feasts of novigrad uh, quest so i'm recording the last fight of the quest line as far as novigrad is concerned Let's go deal with this Durden the Tailor. Who's the... Hello Durden. Okay, the guy is there. Is the ta ah, we've been expecting you. Yeah, We're I bet. Taking bets. <laughs> you've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found scrawny. In what world could you possibly defeat me? <laughs> the newcomer uh... may seem all skin and bones, but remember... He defeated the sergeant to the bloody Baron of Velen. <laughs> yeah, Geralt is a scrawny. <laughs> I've always thought that. I've never said it, but he is, in fact, <laughs> scrawny. This champion's at the... <laughs> He's probably just boasting, you know, right? Let's do it. This elf's a dick. <laughs> that been the case with all champions of Novigrad? No. I am the first. Do you know why they call me the tailor? Um. It began after I gutted some men with these very hands. <sighs> Knew that was a <laughs> shitty story. Yes. I don't know. The tailor, I expected him to, I don't know, uh, being the kind of guy who would give you so many stitches you couldn't even count them. Ha <laughs> ha I don't know. Something a little better than that, definitely. But I don't know. I never do Came this. Came here to fight the tailor, so let's do this. Novagraders, one and all, a momentous occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. 
Um, I never do the wages. Oh, missed. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Yeah, I never do the wages because uh, I don't care. I really just care about fighting now, don't I? That's enough of that. Really, Geralt? Can't you even? <laughs> Dadan is champion no more. Henceforth, the title belongs to the Drifter. <laughs> if you've not had your fill of slapabouts just yet, mm -hmm. you'll find other eager challengers in Velen and Skellige. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go on with Skellige. Can they not burn those pyres? <sighs> you gotta love. Poshy knightly Geralt having uh, rose in the mud. <laughs> you know. Classy. <laughs> I actually like it. You're a 